Boxers like Mike Tyson have served as a figure of what aspire to a career defined by the power of their fists, not by the ability of their tongue to make comments they cannot uphold in the ring. Brian Nielsen's career remained almost impeccable until he stepped into the ring against an iron Mike who, at 40 years old, still had much to offer in the world of boxing. In today's video, we bring you the downfall of one of the greatest figures in Danish boxing against the American legend that very few managed to surpass. Brian Nielsen won the bronze medal in the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, then began his professional career in September of the same year at the age of 27. Advancing in his professional career, Brian managed to defeat greats like Ross Purity, James Smith, Tony Tubbs, Tim Witherspoon, and even the legendary Larry Holmes, who was already 47 at the time of the fight. Nielsen equaled Rocky Marciano's record, reaching 49 victories without being defeated. But he wasn't satisfied, he intended to surpass the record of this great champion. Plans were thwarted when Dickie Ryan defeated him in June 1999 during the 10th round. Unhappy with having tasted failure, Brian prepared even more to defeat him in a rematch. It seemed like he was heading once again to the top until, in October 2001, he entered the ring with the great Iron Mike. Before the fight, Tyson reached a career high weight, 239 pounds. He knew he had to build an even bigger fortress if he wanted a chance against someone who would become an arrogant heavyweight. Nielsen was welcomed that night in the arena as a champion, but his fans were overshadowed when Tyson entered the scene. Mike hadn't been in the ring for a year, but he was determined to prove that his strength had not rusted at all. Nielsen confidently entered the ring, a year younger than Tyson, with a respectable record of 62 victories, 43 of them by knockout and only having been defeated once by Dickie Ryan. He felt the embrace of the Danish public, but it wasn't the first time Iron Mike had to fight in enemy territory. At that time, Tyson's record stood at 48 victories, 42 by knockout, with only three defeats and two draws. This time, it seemed that the statistics did not tilt the balance in the corner of the great Iron Mike. But being a boxer known for surprising us in the ring, the last word was not said. When the bell rang to start the fight, Tyson didn't hesitate to come out of his corner with the aggressiveness that characterized him. In less than 10 seconds of the first round, he had Nielsen against the ropes. Mike has no let up in him, he's just unloading everything, all body right now. And he's trying to defend himself from his powerful punches. It wasn't the first time Tyson faced an opponent physically larger than him, and he knew that if he wanted a real chance to win, he had to direct all his attacks to the body to wear down his opponent's strength and later in the match, unleash his entire arsenal to achieve the coveted knockout. Nielsen showed that he wouldn't be an easy opponent to deal with during the second round when, despite Tyson's advances, he stood firm, seizing every opportunity to counterattack. His large body provided him with something that many of Tyson's previous opponents couldn't boast, high resistance to punches. The serious exchange of blows was about to begin when the episode was closed by the sound of the bell and everyone in the venue eagerly awaited the third round. Nielsen said it the last three of the head by Tyson. But Nielsen still standing. Tyson showed why he was a legend opening the third episode, leaving Nielsen against the ropes with no other option than to receive the powerful combinations of punches he was throwing. During the round, Nielsen's body began to turn as red as Iron Mike's gloves. The pressure Tyson was exerting seemed to be taking effect until, a little less than 30 seconds to close the episode, the unimaginable happened. After trying illegally to put a neck lock on Tyson, the fury of the great Iron Mike was awakened and he dealt his opponent a combination of punches so powerful that it made him fall seated on the canvas. Punishing body shots by Tyson. The crowd. Get off his neck, Brian. Get off his neck, Brian. Don't do that. Please do not do that, Brian. Don't do that. Oh, quick combination of the head. And down goes Nielsen. The giant Brian Nielsen almost fell out of the ring if not for being caught by the ropes. And it can be said from his look that he was the one most surprised to have fallen so low so early in the match. The referee conducted the safety count, but Nielsen wasn't going to let Tyson get away with it so easily in his territory. He stood up and seemed to show signs that everything was in order to continue the fight, although his strength had already been damaged. He only had to stand firm for 16 more seconds to survive this third episode. 
But with five seconds left, Tyson gave Nielsen a low blow that made him run away, holding his huge body against a corner and showing the physical wear and tear of someone who had run a marathon. It seemed like the end for this Danish warrior. Iron Mike had shattered him in just three rounds, leaving him on his knees, held against the ropes like the image of someone begging for mercy from his executioner. His team and the referee assisted him while everyone asked the same question, will he be able to continue? And out of pure pride or his arrogant nature, he took the five minutes granted to him to recover and went out to try to counteract the fateful third round he had recently contested. Nielsen tried to minimize Tyson's attacks by throwing himself at his body, gaining some time, hoping the referee would put some distance between them. During this fourth episode, Tyson threw perfect combinations of punches to earn a good couple of points on the judges' scorecards. From the effects of that knockdown, his five clear eyes and his legs seem to be under him, but that low blow seemed... Oh, a heavy... Yeah, but right now he's doing it on Nielsen. Unfortunately for the... By the fifth round, the ring had become the cage of a beast. The great Iron Mike was playing with his prey like a predator, hurting him with his punches but keeping him on his feet for the show. At this point, it seemed that Brian Nielsen had no options to recover from a severe defeat. Over the left eye of Nielsen who's getting hammered. Big uppercut by Mike. Double. During the break, Tyson returned to his corner to sit and wait for his turn to be treated before continuing the fight. Having been barely touched by his opponent's weak fists, he really had no wounds or apparent damage that needed healing. For his part, Brian Nielsen took the break to reflect and acknowledge that Mike Tyson was an opponent he was not going to be able to defeat. And, before receiving many more unnecessary blows, with the intention of protecting his physical integrity, he decided to surrender. While it can be taken as a bittersweet victory for the great Iron Mike because he didn't leave Nielsen lying on the canvas, it was a great demonstration of why Mike Tyson was a living legend of boxing. One that not everyone had the physical condition and sports intelligence to face in the ring. Mike and his team celebrated conquering enemy territory while everyone wanted a few seconds to interview a fighter who, in his mid-30s, had completed a five-round fight looking as fresh as someone who had just woken up from a nine-hour sleep. Nielsen not only had a reputation for being an arrogant boxer but also for making controversial decisions in the ring, like the ones we saw when, on a couple of occasions. He took Tyson by the neck with what could have been a lock if he had applied a little more force. Nothing aroused the fury of the great Iron Mike more than injustice and lack of humility. From that moment, Tyson knew that he had to teach a boxer who had a record deserving of respect but an attitude that wouldn't take him very far in a sport where humility and chivalry have never been negotiable traits. This is where the story ends, but we have many more to accompany you throughout your day, bringing you great emotions and stories with happy endings from a sport that can bring out the best and the worst in its exponents.